Yes, we're back for some more Doki Doki Literature Club. And holy hell, I've had a night. First off, my getting over a video. Didn't record. Well, it recorded, then it crashed, and I don't have the file. And now, I'm here playing this video so I can get this one out instead. So now it's like, the voice is already dead. And I have to voice some characters, so let's get down to it, shall we? Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh? Eh? What do you mean? My voice can be really crackly because, like I said, my voice is already thrown out. You know what, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time that I've seen that happen. I've seen them fight. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they go make good friends with you. You! <laughs> you know, Colby, it's nice that I get to spend time with you like this. In this club or whatever. Frick, I messed that up completely. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me happy the happiest. <laughs> It's been a while, guys. I gotta get used to this. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's, um... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun! <sighs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll... Just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that mo more to myself than her to than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, we're back to the poem thingy. Woo. I honestly don't care as long as it isn't her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Natsuki. Um, let's go for Yuri. Dark. She likes dark. Who? Suicide. Ooh, a suicide. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's what she likes. Suicide. Miss Boy. Oh, that's Sayori again. Philosophically. Clouds. That's her. Um. Uh. uh essence. The essence of my being! Kawaii! Oh god. <laughs> Imagination! Um. Passion! No, that's her, yeah. That's her. Destiny! Uh, uh. Tragedy! Oh, it's her too? She likes tragedy too? Um. Desire! Uh. Broken. Un unstable! Ribbon? No, not ribbon. After image. Anxiety. <laughs> Shut. Just. Doki doki. No, yeah, I thought so. Determination. Disaster. Massacre. Sadness? No, she likes sadness. Okay. Lust. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hey, yeah. <clears throat> Hiya, Kobe. Ha, ah, frick, whatever. Yo, Sayori. <laughs> Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get used to, you know. They're in a good mood. Well, frick. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Yeah, I guess so. Speaking of which... Now, speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No, thanks. Eh? But that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse? <laughs> Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. 
I just want to look at it. Eh, eh, eh. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and, op and gets it open. She turns it upside down and lets the contents spill out into the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Uh, <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair! How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money to, in the first place, you would have found a snack before coming to the cupboard. Okay. I was like, oh, what? So like either you're not hungry or, and wanted to eat the... So either you're not hungry and wanted to, an excuse to, to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. I'm rich in this game, this is just kidding. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry! So now, only leave us the one option. I give up! Don't make me feel guilty! If you feel guilty. And if you feel guilty, if you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> you always send the giggles. Huh? I didn't even notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Ah, uh, I wasn't listening or anything. I was just looking at something in my book. Yuri! Tell Kobe to let me borrow some money! That's... Don't get me involved in like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can possibly responsibly go forward and frankly after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that you're suffering a spirit enough retribution uh did I just I didn't mean that I have to absorb in my book mm. <laughs> I really like you when you speak your mind Yuri it doesn't happen much, but it's it's the fun side of you. That's, there's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad. Now I have to accept revolution. Retribution. That! Still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess that's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club room before she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come if, I, if it weren't for the cupcakes. <laughs> so I had to not the skin and making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> well, be fair, I wouldn't have come if there wasn't cupcakes either. We need some cupcakes. <laughs> Plap. Yeah. I don't know where something smacks Harry in the face and tumbles into the desk. Ow! What was that? <laughs> a cookie? Sure enough, a giant cookie wrapped in a plastic. So you gr glance around. Is is this a miracle? It's a pretty... It's because I paid my resolution! Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> that was going to give it to you. <clears throat> I was going to give it to you! But I heard you blab about the cupcakes! It was totally worth seeing your reaction now! <laughs> Not ski! That's so nice of you! I'm so happy! Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it! Sayori rap rapidly. Ra blah, 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 blah. Rapidly open. Rapidly tears open and rapidly takes a bite. So good! So good! Mm. Sayori suddenly clasped her hand over her mouth. I bit my tongue! <laughs> you 
You're going. <clears throat> You're going. A lot. Okay, goddamn. What was her voice again? You're going through a lot. Over just one cookie. Natsuki takes one bite of her own cookie. Ah, oh, yours. Yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. I found her voice. But yours is. But yours is. But yours is chocolate. Yes. Oh yeah. Why do you think I gave that one to you? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sarah gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and wraps her arms around her. Ah, oh, jeez. I get it. I get it. Oh, no. Oh, freak one voice. Cookie still in hand. Natsuki reaches, reaches up to nudge Sarah off of her. Um. Sarah suddenly leans down and takes one bite of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously do that? <laughs> well, full Siri trots away to, to safety. You're in I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a... You're such a kid sometimes. Okay, I can't... That voice is too deep for her. Monica! No, no, Monica! Tell Sayori! Eh? Sarah glances around. North glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Uh -huh. Where's Monica? Any anyway, no question. Oh, no, no question. Have any of you heard anything about her, her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? eh? You didn't think she? Don't you think she has? She has a. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Oh wait, no. She's probably. She's probably more desirable than all of us can find. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? <laughs> that was too loud, damn it. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super, I'm super sorry. I'll give her that voice. I'll give her the deeper voice. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. A boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never, no, uh, never mind that. What held you up? Anyway. Oh. Well, my last period today was a study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You, sh you would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it. I must not have heard it. Since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. Uh, uh, I, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us. That's... Monica looked at me, looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better. Yay! That sounds cool. <laughs> I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't eat down, Colby. Monica smiles sweetly. <laughs> I didn't mean any pressure or any like thing like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot lately. I really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! 
So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mysterious ex but, uh... I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori's I'm already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from her reading. It's a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent me. More than that, it seems like she's on, she, she, she was on the first few pages. Ah! Crap. <laughs> I think she noticed from looking at it. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes met for a split second. But only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry, I'm just spacing out. I'm under this sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. I was just focused then. Oh, if I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just, just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Oh! Well... When I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, and that's what I want to admit. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, uh, I see. There's something fairly obvious about here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear it. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's, it's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well... Hmm... Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Maka, Maka, Maka. There's the ominous looking eye symbol in front of the cover. On the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in a high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister, but as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She starts to, to get targeted by these prison the people who escape from the human experiment prison, and while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be nice stories, so that dark during came out of nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently g giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Colby? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of s stories. So, don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot. About, yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be on a completely different level. It's just that, it's just that those type kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants it to be evil, but because they have their own goals and have their own psycho philosophy and that they believe in. Then suddenly when you thought you were related to the protagonist, they made it they they were made out to be the naive one, for letting them their one sided morals interfere with the evil the villain's plan. I'm I'm rambling, ain't I? Not again I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize! I haven't lost interest in anything! Huh. Okay, I have to go close to the mic. <laughs> I have to go close to the mic for your voice. I guess it's alright then. 
but I feel that I should let you know that I have this problem. When other things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. It's just that it doesn't mean you're passionate about reading. That, uh, the least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well start get, get started reading, right? You, you don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking at me, looking forward to it. Just let me get to the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I pulled out of my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to yours. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a bit little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. Just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if, you end, if I end up distracting you or something. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what you're in or reading in company. It's as if I can feel a presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over, and it looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry I I was just Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slam desk um, until it meets against Yuri's. Then I hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her cop, cl closes her copy. Once we each lean in a bit, a little bit, her shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I end up using my right hand to hold the book open. I guess this makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Damn! We need to be the thumbnail of this! Oh, wait. Damn it. Hmm. Hopefully, I got the screenshot, but that'll be. <laughs> Let's press time on my damn. Let's continue. Yuri takes her, le her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and the forefinger. Uh huh. I do the same thing with my right arm. On the right side of the book. That, that way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to the her side. But in holding it like this, we are held even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face as she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page? Uh, sorry! I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I look glances over at Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. <laughs> That's okay. You're not it, You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. I instead just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn to draw my own relation. We continue to read the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning the page almost feels like an in intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go over the page, letting it flutter over to her side of as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri! This might be a, a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of 
The main character kind of... Ah! The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all of the things... <sighs> she says it and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see it into your head or something, anything. But there's a kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I... I see. Rear remains silent for a moment. But Colby... That's probably a terrible thing to have a come with her. Well, that's so embarrassing you think that. Wait! I didn't mean it was in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I re really didn't know you were so so so. Up oh, the boo. So I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I meant the more I meant it. The the, the more, I more meant that it's kind of cute. Uh, uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? I. Okay, everyone. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh -huh. Exhale, spit from finishing your final thought. Is that alright, Yuri? No. Is it <clears throat> What's her voice again? Um. You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. Oh no, you. It's fine. Sorry. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. What would you prefer? I'll only read it with you. Um. I guess I don't want to have too much preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. <clears throat> In that case. Before you finish the first two chapters on your own. Alright. I stand up. I make a more mental note where I left off in the book. Then slip it back into my bag. Okay! Next episode we're gonna wrap up all these characters right now! Since I feel like I've talking way too long with this, the first part of this ep part of the thing. That I feel like it's time to wrap it up. So, that's it guys. If you want some more Doki here with Doki Literature Club. And um, please leave a like, subscribe for more content from this guy right here, and well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Tony!